understand that their job by default is to win. That's it. There's no second place when you go to war with people, right? There's no second place when you merge with an, an adversary aircraft. It's him or you. So by default, you win. And if you can't win, then this isn't the job for you. Every time you take off, you have to be perfect. You know that every time you drop a bomb, the guys on the ground are, are counting on you. Our guys are getting shot up. We need those buildings dropped now. It's a stressful job, but it's stressful to the point that it maximizes your performance when you're airborne. And you get that from the first day of pilot training all the way to hopefully the last story that you ever fly in a fighter. We have a lot of students go downrange. Four months from leaving here, they're in Afghanistan and they're doing exactly those things. They're dropping GBU-12s on folks, dropping uh, GBU-38s, or they're down uh, doing operations in Syria. So we try to make it as realistic as we can for these guys because we know that there's a good chance that when they leave here, just a few months later, they, they could be downrange doing the same things. I love being an instructor pilot here because I get to shape those guys. As soon as they show up, those are my guys to turn into the fighter pilots that I know what it's going to take for those guys to be successful in the Air Force. But what I want to do is find that optimum stress point so that performance is exceptional. And I remember my IPs doing that to me too. And it was, you'd get done with a day and you're like, man, that was awesome. You'd get done with a day and you're like, that was horrible. But I'm going to get better. 26,000 hostile, single contact. You have to kind of try to instill in them that warrior spirit. You want these guys to learn to be aggressive, how to maximize and max perform the aircraft. And there's a lot that goes into it. And again, it's that shift, it's that mindset shift from I'm flying an airplane to fly it like a fighter. If you want your nose to be over here so that you can get your gun on to kill this guy now, pull and get your nose over there. You don't have to do big maneuvers like you were doing in the T-38. This is a fighter high performance aircraft, right? If there's something that you want to make go away, put the nose where it needs to be to make it go away. While we're teaching you know, the basics of how to fly BFM, we're also trying to teach that mentality, right? Kill and kill efficiently. You start throwing dogfighting in there, air combat maneuvering, air to air, large force employment exercises, close air.